Hi everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, thank you for dropping in. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I'm getting a great response from uh, everybody for these videos dedicated to Jim Steen. Uh, this will be the fifth part of the GMC uh, Bofors kit by uh, Hobby Boss, 135th scale. Okay, uh, I'm still working on step two, so I've got a few things prepped and ready to go, and we need to get some more parts and things cut out. So let's go down to the bench, and I'll show you what's going on. Be right back. Thanks, guys. Okay, um, in the last step, we made up the little bumperettes, and we'll get those glued on today. I there there are no locating par, uh, pins or marks or anything for these, so I went and just kind of eyeballed. Them. I put uh, tape where I want them to go, so that they're about sitting just about the same on both sides. So we'll glue those on here in just a little bit. Um, here's the transmission. I sanded it a little bit, got it all cleaned up. The U-joint is just sitting in there. It's not low, not uh, glued yet, so I can turn it to match it up with the drive shaft. And this is the transfer case. Let's go down a little bit here. Let's see if we can do something about that focus. It might be a little bit better. Okay, there's the transfer case. Okay. Um, these are these are still loose so they can be turned. So it'll be a lot easier to line everything up when the time comes. Um, the exhaust pipe. It already had a slight divot in it and I just took a drill bit and I enlarged it and made it just a little bit deeper no big deal and I sanded the connection points and there was a very very slight seam line so I cleaned that all up let's go ahead and uh, we'll glue the transmission and the transfer case and then the uh, bumperettes in and then we'll move on to uh, clipping some more parts off <clears throat> and get the rest of part two done excuse me <clears throat> okay on um, <clears throat> on this transmission this little square on the side here is where the uh, power takeoff will connect. It'll power the uh, front winch. And it's got a tab. Doesn't have much detail to it at all, but let's see what's the best way of holding this. It'll just go there kind of like that. Let me get a little glue on it first. I guess uh, Jason the model kit stuff his kit is coming today it's it's actually Friday I'm working on a Saturday's video right now but his kits coming today Nigel's came yesterday I believe and uh, I know Peter has been working on his and a couple of other guys are waiting on kits okay There's the transmission in and in the transfer case. There's a couple little locating pins here. Okay. You know, it might be easier before I do that. The, there's a little short drive shaft that goes between these two and we have to clip it off here real soon let me look and see what uh, part number is 
we might just do it all do all that at the same time it's a2 so let's go ahead and get a2 and clean that up real quick let's see here a2 it's a little short guy Okay, just take a second to clean this up. There's not much to it. I got a little container I keep my trash in. Try and keep the bench as neat as I can. Okay. I think it'll be easier to put the drive shaft in and the transfer case all at the same time. Just makes it easier to line all that stuff up. Okay. Whoops. We'll get a spot of glue on there. Goodness stomach's growling. I haven't had anything to eat yet today. <laughs> I generally don't eat breakfast. If I do, it's just some fruit or something. Okay, there's that setting there, and then we can put some glue on these holes here. And this will go in. That would be this one. So we want to line that drive shaft up. Just like that. And find the pins. There we go. That's a lot easier than trying to get that drive shaft in there later. Okay, and that one I'll have to locate. So let's get some glue on there and on there. Maybe just on that. Okay. Since this one wants to fall out, I'll probably just put it aside. And, yeah, I'll put it aside. And then when we uh, are putting the front differential and stuff in, I'll have it. Okay, there's that. Let me, um, I think I might use my super glue gel to put those on with. Hang on just a minute. Okay. It's just a gel. Pretty easy to work with. We'll put some put some here. It doesn't run all over. And then we need this one. Get it straight. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be off the screen. Hmm. 
Okay. get that off there before I have any problems okay I'll probably run a little bit of a thin glue inside these joints a little later but uh, I'm gonna let that stuff set up for a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming parts off for the rest of step two so let me do that and I'll be right back okay thanks guys Here's the, uh, the parts we need for the rest of step two, all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, the muffler and exhaust are actually two pieces, A7 and A54. Um, when I test fit them, test fitted them, they fit so tight, I didn't really want to take them apart. So I've already glued those and sanded the seam a little bit. So that's uh, A54 and A7 already assembled. And these are the parts for the front of the frame with the winch and another part for the transmission. So let's go ahead and get this stuff put on. Um, first thing we need to do, let's see here. Try and make it to where you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. This will go here. There's a slot in the end and a tab. It's really you know, not easy to judge where it actually is supposed to go. I guess just try and make it look straight. The side pieces may help. Okay, this is a 46 here, and there's a little square and a hole here. I've already test fitted these. Everything fits good. These actually had a couple of ejector pin marks in it that I was afraid were going to be real obvious, so I scraped most of that off. Let's see, they go like this. Think like that. Okay. This is uh, a forty five, and it'll be the same way on the other side. The bumper will sit right on this edge here, so I'm lining all the pieces up to where they are flush along that edge. Try and make it all nice and straight. Okay. Um, still working upside down. We've got the muffler and the exhaust. Uh, there's a slot right here. And this goes to the inside of it. Let's see. And we got the other end that goes in the exhaust manifold. See, I'm not sure if that goes underneath it. I guess it goes just like that. Okay. That looks right. Okay. 
Okay, got to be real careful of that. And then we have this uh, B15, and it fits pretty tight. Maybe I should have put it on before the muffler, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, just like that. That's the uh, emergency brake, if I recall correctly. That should be okay. Okay, now, by the instructions, I'm trying to keep everything oriented. We need to go this way. Now, first thing I want to do, being very delicate, is put this together. This is the, the reels for the, uh, the drum for the winch. Make sure it's nice and square. And in the instructions, they say to add the cabling now. But I don't really think I want to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it off and try and make this drum to where it will turn. And then I can add it later once I get the majority of things painted. Okay. So... The, uh, let's go ahead and get the bumper on. It's here. And it will sit here. Just like so. Okay, let me add a little glue in here first. And there are some tabs on the inside of the bumper that will help locate it. It looks square. Oop, and that moved. Okay, that looks pretty good. And the winch reel will just set in here, huh? Yeah, just like that. That's where it sets. I'm going to try really hard to glue that to where it will be possible to rotate it. Now we need to put this in, which is the drive, the uh, power takeoff. It goes right around the exhaust pipe. Boy, that is a close fit. I'm wondering if that should go around it. Wow, that is close. Okay, looks right. Mm -mm. Well, that didn't work, did it? Going to have to keep it this way. Got to come up from the bottom, I guess. Push that on. Yep. 
There we go. Fitting as tight up against the transmission as I thought it should. I guess that's where it goes. glue this trying to keep it uh, free with it little drive shaft and the exhaust pipe are really really close together so far everything looks like it's going to turn okay and on the other side of the winch we have this part I think that goes like so yeah okay just trying to be real sparing with the glue Silence, I know. <laughs> Concentrating. It still turns. Okay, I think we're good on that. Do you see the exhaust pipe and the uh, drive shaft are just right there together? Guess it would help maybe if that had the glue had not let loose there. Okay, just a couple other pieces. We've got a little box. Need to go over here. Okay. And we have two little shock absorbers that go on. So there's a slot. Looks to me like it goes this way. right and that'll go 
Ooh, right there. Maybe. Okay. That's going to do it for step two, everybody. I'm going to let this stuff firm up. I'm not going to do any more right this minute. Uh, I'll probably take a couple of pictures and put them at the end. But uh, that's going to probably do it for this episode. So. I uh, want to thank everybody that's watched and uh, hope to see you real soon for another one. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.